I'm going to show you really quickly how Airtable can be used to manage your OKRs. So the first area, uh, the first section is called goals and it basically defines your company goals, right? Um, so there's, we are taking a car dealership for this example. There is a goal for more income that affects more distribution partners and the growing market recognition as you can see here. So uh, every element leads to another one, allowing you to draw the whole thing as a little uh, napkin drawing with, with arrows pointing to each individual section. Um, more distribution partners lead to more successful test drives and more successful test drives in return to more income. Um, all of those goals should affect each other and create a nice circle of value creation across your company. Um, each individual goal gets a team, so you could have a team called cash for the goal of more income, you could have a network team, etc. If your goals are more complex, you should try to, to keep it uh, as simple as possible, but if they need to have a little bit, a few more sections, you can basically add a second goal to one of your teams, um, but I would advise to keep it as simple as possible. Each team gets a team lead and some team members. You could also use the um, Airtable membership fields, but it really depends on how you want to handle this. I just used the multi-select so you can add some names. And then we move directly into the objectives. So if you've read our OKR guide, you know how this uh, section works. It's basically um, inspirational goals that then are connected to key results to track the success of them. And so, um, Let's say, for example, Team Cash has uh, in this quarter four different objectives. Um, you can see here uh, the names are quite um, openly formulated. New quarterly record is something that might be very specific to the team, but it has to be understood by them. And um, yeah, what I did here is uh, give you two different views. That's a cool thing about uh, Airtable. You can have two different views of a. Uh, um, of, a, um, of any table you create, basically. And so um, here's a view of every uh, objective I ever created. But if I were to uh, set this target, for example, to the next quarter, it wouldn't show up under the current OKRs anymore. So this can be used to just in general define your goals and uh, the other current view allows you to focus completely on the goals you have for this quarter. Um, here's a so-called roll-up field that takes the percentages of your key results and accumulates them in here, showing you the average um, of the um, already achieved um, KPIs within this goal. And here are the uh, different teams that you've assigned to this, um, to this uh, OKR. Um, that's basically it. So let's jump into the key results, which are the most complex uh, view we have in here. Um, so let's say we want to just look at uh, Team Network, for example, who is in charge of, if we look back, um, more distribution partners. So they, for example, have to reach amazing conversion rates this quarter but that's not really um, trackable. So what we have to do is we have to define certain key results that represent a portion of this uh, objective. So what I did is, for example, uh, of course, uh, not being a car sales expert, that you want to have maybe plus 25% conversion on your website checkout page where people select your cars. Now. What you can do here is you can define a goal number and then you can uh, add the current status of that number. So if um, we just achieved, let's say, 19% um, uh, website checkout page conversion, the system automatically calculates the percentage, the 90% uh, of 25% would be, allowing you to see that the overall objective already has been met with 89%. Um, so yeah, you just have to focus basically on this side and the magic happens over here. Just a simple um, conversion calculation. So um, to give you another example, um, we want to have vocally happy distribution partners. So we want our resellers that uh, sell cars for us to be happy about uh, their current work and about their partnership. 
So let's say we have a um, monthly partner score survey where we, we ask them how happy they are about their collaboration. Um, and we can set an average score to 4.5 that we want to achieve. Um, now, in this quarter, our team has reached 4.3, which already hits about 96% of uh, that goal and uh, allows us to reach a total average with all um, three key results of, um, let's see it again, 91%. Um, we've totally met this objective, for example, because uh, the rule of all OKRs is that you want to hit uh, at least 70% and it already is a basically consider it a success. In here, you again have also another view that gives you all key results, um, where it doesn't matter in which quarter they fall. Um, but the current OKR view is the one in which you can basically work your way through one individual quarter, define the goals together with your team, and then have a quick look on where they are standing. This is also the page where your different team leads need to update their numbers inside this bracket and change the current status number each individual week to give you a nice reporting. This allows you to get a quick overview of each team and you can basically uh, yeah, have a look at the different um, records that are in here um, without having to constantly sync with them, giving them a lot of freedom to achieve their goals um, over one quarter. That's it. Thank you.